this, I'm here to show you how to access your EFI partition. Close that down. That's a spoiler. Anyway, this is where all your system, well, sorry, not all your system files, but there's boot files in there, and I highly suggest you not mess around with it. Well, deleting or modifying or doing stupid shit. But yeah, let's get to the thing. So what you need to do is, you need to download a certain program, but that's all you need to do. And because then you can't access the administrator account, or I, I guess I call it super admin. But yeah, you download what's called a loose arm man MGR manager, whatever. Okay, the, the most important thing is there, it's in the link of under the description. Sorry, under the description there's a link to the download link, so you don't have to worry about that. So you click on users, and then you can see options that there are all your accounts in it. Uh, and you click on administrator, set a password, and make sure the account is enabled by ticking this box off. It's not supposed to be checked. And yeah, I guess you can match my settings too if you want a higher success rate, but I guess it should work regardless, but make sure you don't do anything funny. Anyway, when you're done with that, you can now access the EFI partition. But how? Well, there is a special command in CMD called mountvol. All you need to do is write mountvol, then p, colon, s. That mounts the EFI partition on your drive. Mount, yeah, there we go. <laughs> it, it just played. Yeah, it means it is mounted now. It's called system, interestingly enough. And I guess it's in there. Now, to make sure that I'm not tripping, uh, we need to go into a disk manager. Yeah, computer. Yeah, computer. Uh, yeah, for me it's called device manager, that management. Then you go into the disk management part, and then you can see the EFI partition. It's a 260 megabyte and this is 256, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It, it's still the same partition. And this is my other USB, if you watch my video, you should understand. But, sorry, if you watch the other video that I la released in the latest part. Yeah. Let's look what's inside. This is an extra part of the video where you can just click off and be satisfied, explore on your own, or if you want to just see what's inside of there. Then you can hang along with me if you want to. So, EFI, and then there's a bunch of menus, Microsoft, and then there's like boot, a bunch of weird files I have never seen before. And then this is whatever this is, don't worry about it. You can open it in hex editor, it doesn't harm your system because you're reading it as a, as a binary file converted to hex code. Oh, sorry, hex, yeah, hexadecimal or whatever it's called. And then you have a bunch of firmware stuff. Well, I, I, I'm not sure why this is. Because I'm using an OEM, of course. I understand why there's like HP, yada yada, bullshit. Then there's like system diagnostics, recovery, BCD, the thing that you're not supposed to delete, obviously, because that's the boot configuration data. You don't want to delete it because then your system won't boot. Duh. But yeah, there is nothing much, and of course if you want to access the recovery partition, you can do that. It, it, there's n basically very little in it. It's a file or two. I guess I can make a video on that later. But yeah, if you want a video on how to access your recovery partition, then hit me up. I'm your dude. I'm your dude, yeah.